Perspectives, they encompass us. Human nature, each and every one of us has our own perspective on an element in our world. Opinions, whether oppressed or expressed, they are our perspectives. One thing we all seem to differ in is perspective on what is perfect, what we view as being most desired. Yet, what even is perfection? When did an individual ever grasp their own clear vision of what perfection was to them? Was it that seemingly perfect girl, that seemingly flawless model on the front cover of a magazine that provided you with a view on what was perfect? Or the way the sun splinters into thousands of delicate shards of light, a stain of orange, gold and scarlet red when it sets? Or when someone whom you love with all your heart laughs? and the little lines crease beside their smile. Sparkling stars at midnight, fluttering fireflies. There could be thousands of perspectives on what is considered perfect. A perfect feeling, a perfect moment. Moments where simply, quite simply, everything just fits. Comfort, is that a perfect feeling? What all humans seem to crave is security and comfort. We all seem to know what a perfect life would be. We see a glimpse into another's and gain some invalid, unreliable and foolish understanding that their life is so much more perfect than our own. We need to stop defining perfect. We don't need to feel perfect, to feel worth, self-value and self-appreciation. We need to love our neighbours, ourselves, our peers, whether typically perfect or not. A rose, a scarlet hue of furled petal, soft and delicate, has thorns sharp and cruel. A fire, trails of colourful flame, powerful ripples of warmth has the potential to burn, to scar, and to kill. The ocean, turquoise waves laced with wondrous creatures, has the ability to engulf a ship, to sink a body of thousands. Not everything is as it seems. Imperfection is perfection's very own parallel. My sister was born on the 17th of August, 2008. The first moment, the seemingly perfect moment, was when she first curled her little fingers around my thumb as I held her on the hospital bed. Then the doctors said to my mother, we are so sorry, she has Down syndrome, and went on to describe it as a genetic disorder, an imperfection of her genes for she had an extra chromosome. She is one of those judged in the world, pitied and apologised for. She needs no apology. She, to me, is perfect. She is a beautiful being. This is my perspective, but I wish more than anything that the world saw her perfection. In the way she sings along to the radio, out of tune, but joyous nevertheless. Or the way she wakes up, her hair a messy, strewn cornfield. Yet a messy sort of perfect. Or the way she doesn't always get things right, but she always tries. All people. All the flaws we have, mental or physical, they mark our journeys, our battles, our successes. We need to acknowledge the power of acceptance and accept all, whether deemed perfect or not. Society ought to grow, grow in mind, in understanding, eradicating bitter judgments. Let's stop ourselves from making comments that leave anyone feeling imperfect. Let's learn to find a new and different perspective. Let's redefine perfect. perfect.